So we did about seven miles today. We are getting ready to cross the river, doing the road walk into US, US 2. Route 2 into Gorham, New Hampshire. So it'll be our first city in New Hampshire to go to. Today we're gonna get McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Which sounds funny, but the interesting and kind of cool thing about Maine is we didn't see a single fast food restaurant. And apparently there was one Walmart, but we didn't actually see it during it our whole time. Count. So we've been just kind of eating at mom and pop places the whole time we're going to town. But Which is nice, but expensive. Yes. So it'd be nice to get a little bit of cheap food and recalorie a little bit. This is cool. So we're walking over, I can't remember the name of the river here. Got the power, the hydroelectric dam. You can see how they improvise white blazes here when you're doing the bird walk. Hopefully being the Gorham pretty quickly, we're gonna say it's the Libby house slash the barn. We got a couple packages of supplies and gonna get some food and take a zero. It's a little bit of change of plans from our original plan. So instead of going straight through after um, stopping at Gorham, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do about 20 21 miles through the wildcats probably in a day and a half swing back into gorm and then we're going to get the rest of our food resupply just because it was about 70 miles to the next resupply that makes it a little more reasonable 50 miles so that's kind of the new plan right now is we're going to try to do as much of the carters and the wildcats today um head back to gorm tomorrow get the rest of our resupply and then head back out and hopefully get through the whites over the next couple days to a week or so I get to wake up to. Not bad. We are currently hiking up Wildcat Mountain. It is that away. All right, it's 642. Just about 30 minutes later, and we're at the top of Wildcat, and that's the view. So we are working towards the ascent of Mount Madison, which will be our first presidential. So still working on the summit to Mount Madison. Um, pretty heavy fog up here. Not too much active rain. No thunderstorms, that's lucky. As you can see, I mean, not very much visibility all the way around. So I was wrong. I thought about a mile and a half to the summit. The ridge line up and over it's starting to rain so i gotta get going so kind of came to this area now where i think this is summit up 
down and around the top of Mount Madison and then somewhere over there is the hut and keep going. Um, actually, I just saw her peek herself out like right around there. So she's, oh, I think that's her. No, yeah, maybe. Can't tell. But she's all the way up there on the ridge line already, so I'm trying to catch up to her. So that's where I'm heading. Check it out, I am almost up to the top of Mount Madison. It's disappearing in the clouds, but you can kind of see. Um, I'm making my way slowly but surely. Behind that ridge line, see that cairn right there? Just behind that is this steep, steep hill you gotta walk and then you get up here, it's pretty cloudy, but right there you get this beautiful break in view. I think I made it to the top. It took a while. I'm, I'm like a little, actually I'm kind of crying to be totally honest because it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. At least I gotta be getting close. Maybe this is not the top. <laughs> Look at that. Look at it. It's a 360 view of the top of Mount Madison. Gotta be a little careful here as I turn. Just cause it's a little slick up here. So we're doing our descent our ascent up of Mount Adams this morning. Got forced off after Madison just because of weather. Not exponentially better today, but it's supposed to be nicer in Washington today later in the day, so we're trying to time it that way. Closer. As you can see up that way, there's Lauren coming up the valley to the right. It's the train. There, you go. there is the cog railway. Let's moon it. <laughs> that really and truly was a through hiker tradition not too long ago to moon the train that's on that railway as it comes up the mountain. I think that tradition has stopped following arrests. Still kind of funny though. Just crossed over the railroad. There's a train coming down this way. We're gonna keep working on this way because according to Kendrick, this is the right way to go. It's not very well labeled, but this is the way it says it's supposed to go. So this is where we're gonna go. finishing Mount Washington right here. That's the sign right up there over the corner. A lot of people are taking pictures. I probably won't film, but there's the sign. Made it to the top of South Twin Mountain. We've done Guyot as well as Zealand today as well too. It's still pretty early. 
weather is pretty gross, so probably not a lot of movement today. We have made it to the top of Mount Garfield on our way to the top of Mount Lafayette. Currently on Mount Lincoln, there it is. The ridge walk is right next to Mount Lafayette. This is our 360 view, including a wren bird right there in frame. And then someone is. It's a glider plane. I can find it. So this is right off of the, I think it's Lonesome Lake hut. So this is just really cool. Yeah. I think these are the Kinsmen's because that's where we got to hike today. We uh, got really lucky in Lincoln where we had three former through hikers actually while we were in town pay for our room. So that was pretty sweet. We got to stay for free. Yep. And then also before that, like two days before that, we had some of the most amazing trail magic by a couple of northbounders from two or three years ago, so. It was a family. Yeah. The family was out there. They made us steaks. Hot I think dogs. it was. They gave us hot dogs to pack out. So we made hot dogs on trail. And they made us hamburgers. I got. Steak. Yeah. Pancakes. Pancakes, blueberry pancakes for yeah. me, chocolate for Brian. And I got yogurt and granola and chips. Yep. And beer. And we had and a really the good, the one work first day we did, which was the Zealand hut, was really good too. It helped keep us out of like a wind and a rainstorm. So, yeah, that was well timed. We were wet and cold and hypothermic conditions. So, this. So, finished Musilaki today, did about a .25 road walk to Hikers Welcome Hostel to do the $5 food special, and then, Lauren, where are we at now? Mile 400. 400. I'm looking for sticks to make a sign. <laughs> Sobos need some love too. So this is the fire tower on top of Smart Mountain. It's been pretty gray today, so. Not sure how good of a view we're gonna get, but I'm gonna climb up here anyway and see.
you didn't get to the phone or I'm quick enough to see me getting scared. <laughs> <laughs> so also on top of Smart Mountain near the fire tower is an old cabin shelter. So by the looks of it, it looks like it probably has some mouse problems, but it's actually completely enclosed. That's green. It has a windows. door. It has a front like a porch and porches. And it has a little fire grill. I think this might have been the old fire warden's cabin I think I saw somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I think. And we got about eight more to get to Hanover. And then Hanover is our gateway to Vermont. So a new state. Doesn't that view look different? Not quite as mountainous. <laughs> mm -mm. Little baby hills. <laughs> So you come out of the woods on the AT and here's Dartmouth and there's the city of Hanover. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah, if we can find it. <laughs> <laughs> I will be kind of sad if we don't get a chance to see it, but I think it's on this side. Oh, there it is! There it is! Yeah! Now we're in Vermont! The sweet old church. The uh, traditions is for people to jump off of this bridge and into that river. And it looks deep enough. I'm just not feeling dumb enough. No. <laughs> Decided that we really like Vermont. It's beautiful. You get a lot of um, fields. Lots of fields, lots of wildflowers. Apple trees. All of that. So we have this crossing here, which looks like you're just going over a nice little barbed wire fence. And then you come over here and you read this sign. Electric fence. Makes it a little more fun. Luckily though, like the integral structure of this is <laughs> top notch. You're like inches <laughs> away from the, the electrified. I don't know that this is even more, I don't know that this is helpful or more harmful. Yes. So this is a cabin, um, kind of just, I guess we're about 15 miles from the next town, about 30 miles out of Hanover. It's called Lookout Farm. It's a private cabin. They have a crow's nest up here. You just saw a wren climbing up. So I guess that makes it a wren's nest. Oh, I see what you yeah. did there. It is a wren's nest. <laughs> but the people that own it are really nice oh. and let hikers actually use it. So we stayed in Rutledge yesterday, um, hiked up. We're about around 10, I think, in. I can't remember for sure. Just did the Blue Blaze at the top of, uh, I'm blinking. Killington. Killington, thank you. So this is on the other side of the peak. So, and this is the other side of the peak from Mount Killington. So we just got started this morning and we hit the big 500. Lauren, thoughts? Well, we went from 400 to 500 much faster than we went from 0 to 100. So we're going faster and it feels good. Yes, it does feel good. It feels, feels good really to be good. at 500. And then it also feels good to have 
this. We decided to stop and get some lunch. And Lauren, what do you think of our lunch spot? You like it? What did we make? Stratton. Stratton. Which is like, maybe like three and a half miles in, what, an hour? Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good, hour and 15 hours. Pretty sweet fire tower. This oh, that's is cool. the highest mountain in southern Vermont. Well, sweet. <laughs> and there's also a little caretaker's cabin back there. So, pretty cool little mountain. Guess what else? This is where the long trail, which is basically like the baby before the Appalachian Trail, was conceived. Right here. Cool. Do you know that? I did not. It's true. <laughs> Made it up to the top of Glastonbury. Um, this is the fire tower, not much of the view. Some pretty woods, some areas to camp it looks like. So coming across the bridge here, and this leads to the parking lot in the road that goes to Bennington. So we are at the Vermont Massachusetts state border. It is also the start of the long trail. Oh yeah. Here in Vermont. Appropriately someone left a Boston Red Sox out right here. That's probably intentional. Last little bit of Vermont mud. And Massachusetts. accomplishment was that we hit 600 miles which is good um, and then we went our longest day of hiking which was 21.4 miles and then we got into Massachusetts and successful night hike oh yeah and we did our first night hike so this is the Thunderbolt emergency shelter right next to the summit at Greylock it's pretty sweet. It's got this big stone fireplace in the middle. So here's the summit at Greylock. You can kind of see through the fog.
Lodge in something. Berkshire Lodge. But we just finished 24 miles. 24 miles. Not smart, but... <laughs> we kind of got in between where it was like a 16 or a 24 or 28. And we were still ready to go at 16. We knew we couldn't make 28, but luckily there's this inn that's not too expensive, kind of in the middle. So there that is where we have... I see it. Oh. Oops. Okay. Gonna give you an update on um, where Brian and I are tonight because I think it's kind of neat. We are in a campsite just past Tearingham, Massachusetts. Um, I think that's how you, s you say it correctly. Uh, T-Y-R-I-N-G-H-A-M. Tearingham. Anyway, it's a really old Massachusetts town, um, colony town, been here since 1700s. Tonight, we are just outside of this that town, and we are in Tearingham Shaker Village, and that is a very old village um, of Shakers, Shaker Christians who danced, and anybody who's ever been in my class for uh, learning about the Puritans knows that the Puritans Round about some dancing. Um, so they ha had to come up here and make their own village. And behind me is a stone wall. They speculate to be part of their barn or somebody's barn. But the rest of the whole community was up that mountain. That's Brian back there. And that's the privy right there. And that is a board that we put our tents on. We're pretty excited because this one comes with pegs. You can see there and there and there. But kind of neat. Did you learn about Tearingham? I did not read about Tearingham. He learned because they put it inside of the privy, so he read it. Did you learn? I didn't read it. He says he didn't read it. I don't believe that he didn't read it. It was business time. He says it was business time. <laughs> But yeah, um, oh, and then the last thing about this place, besides the fact that it's got history, what else, Brian? Bears. There's bears, possibly yeah, bears. There's really lots of bears. There's been bears here. Um, bears, big bears. Back there, big bears. you can see a little uh, posting right there about some frequent bear activity. We're going to hope that that doesn't happen tonight, but so there's your update. Oh, and another thing that I never mentioned, it's been going on for weeks. Brian cut my hair. It's a lot shorter than it was before. Two dollar scissors from the grocery store. He bought two dollar scissors and he did a lot with those scissors. He cut his pad down, his sleeping pad, and did some surgery on that. Cut my hair. And what else did you do? Cut the liners out of my shorts. And he cut the liners out of his shorts. Saving weight. <laughs> so there's your update. There's where we are. is to get over Everett race and bear today hopefully and then get into Connecticut but we'll see how far we get so we've made it up to Mount Everett What's to say, Lauren? Welcome to the Connecticut section of the Abolition Trail. Can be turned only. The monument marks the highest ground in Connecticut, and it's two thousand two hundred and no, two thousand three hundred and fifty some feet.
we have found the rock formation known as Giant's Thumb. Hold on. Pretty similar. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. <laughs> yeah, that just happened. We've already passed one Connecticut to New York sign. That says welcome to Connecticut. This says welcome to Connecticut. If you're going northbound. Northbound. On the other side of it here it says southbound New York. Does it? Yeah, but it doesn't have a cool sign. It just says southbound New York. So we are here. So New York kind of got sad with their signs. Yeah. Like this. So we are on the boardwalk outside of Pauling. Pauling, New York, and there's little chairs on the boardwalk that say Georgia and Maine. Oh, thought they were really cute. AT. So this is an old barn slash farmhouse that Lauren found this plaque when we were walking by. Look at this guys. This was a barn. We're standing in what was a barn for people who had smallpox and General Washington was like, get your smallpox butt in there. <laughs> we're there. <laughs> uh -oh. The interesting thing about Bear Mountain that we didn't know is it's got a lot of stairs, like rock stairs, the whole, thing the whole way up, stairs. so it's been a nice little surprise. I was going to say, it's made climbing really easy. Yeah. So, so we've made it to the top of Bear Mountain. Got a great view. Wow. That's nice. There's the river to your left. Yeah. And then back up this way is the fire tower. 
And then it looks like Skyline, maybe out that way. Oh my God, there it is. It's New York City. I'm going to zoom in and see if you can. Oh, that's really cool, Brian. I'm glad you found that. I didn't even notice it. Oh, there's New York City. Can you hold these for a sec? Yeah. There we go. You can see the skyline in New York right there. That's cool. Check it out first. So this is known as the lemon squeezer. Well, it's part of it. Part of it. It doesn't look very long, but it's uh, similar to the Mahusik notch apparently. Just a lot smaller. Yeah, so I don't know. I, it's pretty. There's, yeah, there's no like way to really get down. Drastic right down, but then it doesn't look too bad until you get After to those that, boulders up there maybe. So we uh, figured out why it's called the lemon squeezer now. If I helped you, I guess that would be lemonade. Oh my lord. <laughs> Before I pan down, where are we? Well, right now we're in New York. Oh, are we? Oh, but look. But not anymore. Oh, border <laughs> crossing. Now we're in Jersey. So we are at one of the boardwalks in New Jersey. And there's this old bridge right here walking across. So we're hiking in New Jersey along this uh, boardwalk type marsh area. It's the prettiest marsh I've ever seen. And it looks like there's a whole field of cranes and swans. We're trying to be quiet because there's some people birding over here. We don't want to disrupt them. But that's a pretty cool sight. And it's a pretty area. Let me zoom out here. prettiest bird, Wren. So we made it to the top of the High Point Observation Tower in New Jersey. Just off this way, off the trail, is the Veterans Memorial. So we have made it to the Culver Fire Tower. So we are walking up the expressway lamp to go over the Delaware River 